Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video. Today it's time to talk about this Philips 35W SOX bulb. And this isn't a normal SOX bulb, this is a pretty old SOX bulb with a very old packaging. But the bulb itself looks pretty different too. So the Philips logo is still quite the same. We have the actual logo on here and the name here. There's a red line of socks wrapped around the packaging in the wattage and this was uh, is made back then when Philips used to have this prismatic packaging or prismatic thing next to the bulb. This is how that used to look like with CFL bulbs. Sadly the socks isn't in color but this one is, looks pretty cool. Also this was made uh, before all of the ugly warning labels and everything were on the packaging. There's just this code here. I've written that the instructions of the bulbs are packaged on the outer box. So there aren't really much in instructions here. Pretty sure you have to have the instructions on every packaging nowadays. But let's take a look at a regular or a modern uh, 35 watt socks packaging to see the differences. So as you can see this one is way more boring, has a lot of text on it than pretty much nothing on the other sides. The other packaging look way cooler. But the bulb itself also has a lot of differences between the uh, more, more modern version. And the older ones, like usually, are way, <laughs> way cooler. So you can see way more of the um, mechanics of the low pressure sodium bulb here. As you can see you can kind of look through it all. There's a bit of blackened parts here, but the regular the newer versions kind of have most of it blackened as you can see on this uh, part. But yeah, outside of that the, still the red base here and everything. That's pretty similar, but we also have a little text on the bulb like normally which tells you that it's a 35 watt SOX bulb. Also a bit older styled and more visible than on the modern one. If I can even find it here. I don't think this one doesn't even have it written on it anymore. But yeah, really cool. And also these bulbs feel a lot more durable than the modern version. I mean this is one that already kind of broke but still. These ones seem to be made out of a lot thicker glass and everything. So let's take a look at the gear we're going to be using to start the bulb. So a electronic 35 watt low pressure sodium ballast and a regular electronic or a low pressure sodium socket. So I put the bulb on some metal parts to prevent it melting my desk or anything. And let's see it start up. I think that it's going to be quite an interesting start since this bulb and the ballast have never been turned on before. So let's see. And I definitely wasn't wrong about that. So let's make a time lapse video of this bulb starting up. So that's the socks bulb warmed up here, doing a bit of weird arcing right there, don't need, really know why it's doing that. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this bulb too. So thanks a lot for watching, have a nice day and see you in the next video.